And uh, after last week, we just put last week behind us. And instead, we got to start a uh, step up. And uh, today, everyone played pretty well. Yeah. Kim pointed out that yeah, Frankie had the big night, but you and Terrence both had five assists. Just how big was it to find those shooters in the right place? I mean, every night, if we move the ball like we should, there's going to be multiple got the assists, especially as guards. And Frank happened to start the second half out on a hot streak. And uh, it's easy to make assists when you throw it him and make it. Have you seen him do that? I mean, get, is he, when he gets hot, a guy that, that you look for? For sure. Frank's, I, I think of him as lightning in a bottle. He hits one, he go off for five of them. Uh, and uh, at halftime, he actually told me, man, I can't buy a bucket. I said, just stay with it. And then he goes out, and I don't even know if he missed a shot in the second half. Maybe one, one three at the end. But uh, he's definitely lightning in a bottle. When he gets going, he gets confident. It's, it's good to get him the ball so he can put it up. How did it feel good to, to see it go through for you three or four times in the first half, too? It was good. I, it was uh, the first one went in. Uh, confidence. I mean, I have confidence in myself. I really wanted the one off the transition, but uh, got a little off to the right. But um, I thought I played pretty solid and three for five will take. I'm sure we'll all take that every night. But uh, I thought uh, for my overall performance, it was pretty good. What are you taking this game into playing Xavier in just a couple days? I mean, it's confidence booster, I think, for us. We're so young, uh, playing together and seeing the ball go through the basket like that, going to play a top 10 team in Xavier. Um, last year, we played them pretty tight. And hopefully, we can uh, go down there and give them a little run for their money.